Hi folks. <laughs> We've reached the uh, end of the fourth week or the first part of uh, the Synergia MOOC and uh, well I want first of all I want to congratulate all of those uh, who've made their way through the four modules and uh, the many of you who made your way part way through the first two or three modules and are gearing up to get through the fourth module. Um, really appreciate the rich feedback and the interesting additional sources, the good questions, and the effort to help us shape the curriculum at the same time. I invited people to do that and some people have jumped right in and really made a major contribution to help us do that. And every small, lots of nice little pieces too. So we've kind of crowdsourced uh, some improvements that w that those of us who design the course will be able to go back and, and filter through uh, when we have more time in the summer. Um, what's great about uh, um, this moment, I hope this works, we decided to give everyone an intellectual pause for four weeks now to digest the material, even to walk away from it for a while and come back and think about it. Uh, at their own pace and maybe start their garden if they're in the northern hemisphere or get ready for winter down south whichever wh wherever you are um take this four weeks to sort of digest recharge your batteries rethink uh what you'd like to get out of the second half of the course we'll be sending you a message in about two weeks to remind you that this course will be starting up again in may around may 20th the week of May 20th, and uh, we'll have some details about that, and we'll let you know the weekend before. Uh, we'll invite everybody back to the second half. If you haven't had time to do the first half of the course, this is your chance now over these next four weeks uh, to catch up or start for the first time or fill in some pieces that you never had time to address before and um, come along on the journey with us and then start up fresh in the second half and near the end of May. And uh, in the second term, we'll be looking at social care and at finance issues and at local energy and community energy issues. And then we'll be, we'll be really digging deeper in the last uh, couple of weeks at the whole issue of how do we make change? How do we make systems change? Now that we've seen all these elements come together, and I think if by module four, you begin to see now that there are many dots that start to connect up between land and labor and just a just transition that includes respect for nature and also the ability to create and uh, basic needs, meet basic needs and create jobs. And what that might mean in terms of macro changes in the economy and uh, a major, I think someone used the phrase mind shift in how we think about the planetary limits and, the, and ecologize all the things that we do in this course. So uh, we're, we haven't, found any one way to do all this we're not pre we're not preaching one way we're actually working with you to to, to uh, I think build this trail as we as we cut a swath through the material uh, I did want to tell people that um, there were a handful of people interested in looking for uh, accreditation for their work there's a whole page that explains the process and how you can work with uh, Athabasca University who's an open university to get a graduate credit for this course. I'll send a link around in announcements in a day or two with some more details about that. So thanks very much for uh, joining, enrolling in the course, joining in the course, lurking in the course, super participating in the course, all the good things that have made, uh, I think, uh, this last month a very rich experience for all of us. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>